Okay, let's chat about irrigation. Now, this field over to my left or to the north, it's irrigated. This is central Texas, not very much precipitation, and it is irrigated. It's growing uh, some low uh, grasses, probably for cattle uh, feed, uh, perhaps goats, but uh, probably largely cattle. Okay, to the right here, to my south, is what the landscape actually looks like without it being uh, scraped for rocks and irrigated. So it's it's this low shrubbery, uh, mesquite, uh, cactus, prickly pear, a lot of it prickly pear. Uh, some of these low trees, I'm not quite sure what those are. Um, but you can see the difference here between the irrigated and the non-irrigated uh, landscape. So we've modified the landscape as humans uh, for a variety of reasons. Uh, reservoirs, cities, highways, uh, power generation, and so subsequently mining, wind turbines, oil wells, and so on and so forth. And here in central Texas, it's uh, irrigation and pasture land. So this is so large, this field right here, that you can see it on a satellite image. And you can see what the natural vegetation looks like. So, a little bit of land use and also land cover. This is what the natural terrain looks like here. Although even this natural terrain here, I should add, has been worked over by humans. Um, the branches have been sort of scraped up into piles. As you can see right here, for example, and here there's a, there's a lane for maybe some farm or ranch equipment. Uh, to my right here. So this land has been modified, although it's certainly less uh, so than this land over here. And you can see the natural terrain here is fairly flat with some low hills as well. Precipitation, uh, not semi-arid, but bordering between a bit of a temperate and semi-arid. So Get out there and explore the world and look at land use land cover. Thanks.